heat up as well. 0 for 4 last night, our first pitch, Swayze Field. And a strike, the in-state rival, 2-2 to Clark. Try to check a swing, could not, called strike three. And 1-2-3 goes Carolina. Being jam-packed. Burgess, a shot down the left field line. Will it stay fair? That ball is gone. No, Burgess showing some power and a much-needed lift to the South Carolina offense as he leaves the ballpark and Carolina strikes first. Well, I think it's safe to say that Burgess is 100% healthy on this swing. That was a healthy hack. The fastball right down Broadway, and he does exactly what every good hitter is supposed to do. Don't miss it. Don't foul it off. This one, the deep left, went pushing that way to the wall, and just like that, the Rebels have tied it up. Fourth home run of the season for Justin Bench. I see Justin Bench swinging a big, healthy bat. Had some issues with lower back stiffness a couple weeks ago, but I don't see any stiffness in that swing. Another good job of driving a pitch that is hittable down and in to the righty, and he ties the game up. It's one of the things that... that All for you in game three of this series on SEC Network. That one just missed at 92. Unfortunately for Ole Miss. This one, just a, a missile into right field. Big turn by Baker. He'll try to get to third. Came off the bat, and the ball gets away, and Ole Miss is going to have a chance to do some further damage. A nice piece of two-out hitting. Way, for lack of a better word. Payoff pitch on the way outside, and Ole Miss has him loaded. Top of the order. Ball four, and Ole Miss grabs its first lead. Gonzalez trots down to first. Baker comes. Going to get that call. And down he goes. It was a 36-pitch inning for Brandon Jordan. Ole Miss. A couple of starts last year. Swats this one. The shallow center. And it falls right in the heart of the Bermuda Triangle. Chatagne couldn't catch up to it. McCants couldn't get there. And leadoff man aboard. The second hit for Colin Burgess. Moving him back. You can smell the smoke of the grill coming out. How about Nikhazy and the job he's done? Chatagne. Tracking, battling, recording the third and final outs. Ten pitch frame again. Gonzalez, first hit of the afternoon. Walked and brought home a run with the bases juice last time up. An angle away from the sun. If you're running toward the ball, you can't. Shot the deep right. Dunhurst extends Ole Miss's advantage. A two-run bomb to right field, his fifth of the season, and the sophomore helping the Rebels seize control here in the bottom of the fifth. You hit balls like this, you don't have to worry about the sun because they don't stay in the yard. This ball is annihilated by the hot-hitting Hayden Dunhurst. We talked about missing Tim Elko. But today, between Dunhurst and Bench, they have been able to leave the yard. The number four, number five hole has a home run apiece. Brandon Jordan. Ole Miss not done yet. Justin Bench. McCant slicing this one into fair territory down the left field line. Big turnaround first. He's going to make it to second easily. And a leadoff double for T.J. McCants. Out of the conference. The one-two. Popped up shallow center. And sliding in a second nice play of the frame for Seitler. Fly ball. Will it be deep enough to plate McCants with a sack fly? Seitler makes the grab. McCants trots home. And Harris does his job to extend the Ole Miss lead of five to five-to-one. Leatherwood remains at first, two outs. There's a missile. Deep right field. 
And that ball is gone. Gonzalez exits Swayze Field. And a two-run jack makes it 7-1, Rebels. Six long ball the season for the freshman, Jacob Gonzalez. And the Rebels are cruising here in game two, Luch. This is the other thing Ole Miss does really well, and that's hit the home run as of late, especially this game. Roy, you mentioned it. Warm weather, healthy swings. There's the example right there. Young lefty hits this ball a ton. In the fifth, three so far in the sixth. Chatagne. The fly ball to straightaway center. Allen has it. And that'll continue. Right over the outstretched arm of Chatagne. Burgess three for three. George Khalil digs in. It's fifth year out of Melbourne, Australia. That one right through the wickets into left field. We bench just froze for a second. Gamecocks now, the couple aboard with just one out. And this one ripped down the left field line. That's going to fall in for a base hit. Two runs will score. And a big A-B for Carolina as Khalil drives in two with two outs. Runs and run the pitch count up from Nikhazy. Strikeout number five as Nikhazy trots back to the Ole Miss dugout. One hit in the series so far for number 11 in Garnet and Black. Make it two and a good start for Carolina. Eister's aboard. And some big bats. And this one rope to Baker who makes the grab. And Ole Miss wins game two to clinch the series. Our final score, seven to three. Serve, left center. McCants charging, fielding. And recording the third and final out here in the top of the first. And this one served to left center. McCants on the run. And that one off the base of the wall. So Seitler going to gallop into second base with a one-out double. And South Carolina with a man in Oxford with a win. Here in game three. Ripped into right field. That'll drop for a base hit. Plumley charging. And he will keep the runner at third base. 1-0, hammer, deep left, and that ball is gone. Wes Clark doing what Wes Clark loves to do, and that's leave the ballpark. Home run number 16, and just like that, it's 3-0 Carolina. Get picked off right now. 31st pitch of the inning. Gonzalez retreats, fields and fires in time to retire the side. Very well, covers a lot of ground. Olapo hit. Left field. Ball's right in front, front of Seitler. Second hit of the game for Ole Miss. And the next day on the baseball field, it's, a, it's an awesome field. Leatherwood somehow rips that one into right field. And that'll score the first run of the night for Ole Miss. Swayze Field. Ball four. First walk issued by Sanders. Top of the order coming up. Jacob Gonzalez. Three hits in the series. Make it four. Rounding third and coming home is Leatherwood. The relay throw is in time. And Leatherwood is gunned down. Oh, wow. Yes. Three to two. Get it correct. Chatagne watches that one bounce in front of him. The runner caught between third and home and Plumley mm. is finally going to be tagged by Sanders. It's 49th pitch. Delivered right back where it came from. Second hit of the series for Braylon Wimmer and a good Throwing it with confidence. McDaniel's just trying to throw and miss the barrel of the bat. And because of that, he's fallen behind some of these South Carolina hitters. And the big home run by Wes Clark. He went back to back on a curveball. Action. It's going to change significantly. And that one hit off the elbow of Peyton Chatagne. Graham. Deep left field. 
That ball is gone, and Ole Miss grabs a lead. A two-run bomb off the bat of Kevin Graham. Ninth home run of the season. And the crowd's starting to get a little rowdy in Oxford. Slaps this one to center. McCants dives for it, can't come up with it. It'll roll away from him, and Carolina's going to have a runner at second to lead things off here in the fifth inning. Valiant effort by McCann. More breaking pitches, the same thing for Brady Allen. And would you know it, Allen comes up clutch, and we're tied at four. Well, what a game this has turned out to be. Coming home is Khalil, who led the inning off with a double. But this long break stiffens you up. Runner goes, throw to second, not in time. And Allen. Cubs desperately need this win. Gonzalez, a missile into right field. Big turn at first. Aims for second. He'll get there. And certainly more of a complete hitter now. Serves that one into right field for a base hit. And Mississippi now with runners at the corners. As Carey comes home, that one slapped into left field for a base hit. Rebels back in front, 5-4. to four. As Gonzalez trots across home plate. Carey looking for another out here. He will not get it. McCants through the right side. Runner being waved home to throw offline. Ole Miss now leading it 6-4. to four. McCants gets to second. Dunhurst to third. And McCants loves it. Why not? Comes in this series, three years. Well, Leatherwood swung at ball two, and instead he strikes out. Staff, best strength staff. And Mendham was able to get that one down, but unable to come up with it. Carey was hoping to cover over the. Laser, left field, base hit. First of the series for Peyton Chatnier. Payoff pitch. Could be two. Back to first. And how about that? And guess who's back tonight in game three? He's missed 14 games until tonight. Coach Mike Bianco telling us he's looked pretty good. Coach Bianco told us, too, you know, they're not used to dealing with this kind of injury. It's the first ACL tear he's had since he's been here. Skies this one to shallow center. And behind the bag at second, Wimmer will make the catch. But that's a big story and a developing story for the Rebs, and it could be a great one before it's all said and done, Luch. We'll lead things off. And a chopper over, bench at third base, and the leadoff man aboard. The tying run comes to the plate. And don't go anywhere just yet. Grits and guts. Clark pops it up. Broadway calls for it. Baker catches it. Ole Miss sweeps Carolina. And the fist pump from Broadway tells you all you need to know about this one.